12 fitting and why you don't always need to make one. That's coming up. Hello, fashion sewers, I'm Queen Keely, and welcome to FSB TV. If you're new to the channel, hello, I'm Colleen, and if you're interested in sewing techniques, refashioning old and new clothing, consider subscribing and let's get started. So here is a jacket that I am fitting, it's called a toile. The fabric is Calico and it has been gifted to me from a company called William G. So I'll link to them in the description below. So Calico is one of the best fabrics to go for um, when you are wanting to test any kind of garment um, because it's quite sturdy, they come in different weights, it's unbleached, it's natural, so um, and you can make lots of markings on it. I've made a few. Um, so yeah, it's an ideal fabric to go for. So with this jacket, I've only, as you can see, I've only got half the jacket. I don't need the full jacket because it's not asymmetrical. And because mainly I, you know, I'm a advanced pattern drafting and stuff so I know what to look for so one of the reasons why I decided to do a fitting for this is that it's probably the first time I'm making a jacket without a collar and also revere so I wanted to make sure that it looks fine you know before I decide to do it in my proper fabric now I have made this jacket and I will link it below and also I'll put a card up here somewhere so Going back to your jacket, so what I'm testing for is the shoulder. So the alignment of the shoulder I'm happy with. There's pins here because I've got shoulder pads um, in there and it's always um, a good advice to do, take um, any shoulder pads into consideration to make sure you've got the right amount here. So I'm happy with that. I'm also happy with the, with the head of the sleeve as well. Got the fitting there. It's a one piece sleeve as well. So the next thing I want to do experiment with is the side section here so it's kind of like a princess seam panel that i've done here but it's not quite over the bust so i wanted to make sure that um i wanted a little bit of gaping to the front of this jacket here so if i turn this way you should see there i, I think that will just help with the look of the jacket and when i did this i was like i wasn't too sure but now that i've made the jacket it's gorgeous so and also I was experimenting whether I wanted it to be straight here, hope you can see that there, or I wanted it to be curved and it was like, hmm, that's one of the reasons why you make a sampled garment. I wasn't sure, I really wasn't sure, so the, the only way I was going to be sure was to test it. So I decided that I would do a curve. So you can see me a little marking here that I've done, so I'm going to remove that actually. So that you can see what I finally went for. So I tested it like this first. Mm, it's like, no. Let me just experiment a bit more and see if I can. So this is what I ended up doing. And that's just masking tape, because I, I think masking tape helps rather than sometimes just sewing. So and I just love that curve. And because it's matching with the curve of the pocket, I just thought, yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. And that's one of the reasons why you do make twirls. If you're uncertain about anything, then make a twirl. It really will kind of help to make that final decision for you. And it did with me. Now with the pocket, it's a little bit low. So I'm just going to raise that a little bit more. Can you take in consideration it's going to be hemmed? It's just a bit low. So I just need a bit more balance there. And um, with the seaming here, I'm going to be pinching up some here as well because it's not quite fitting right so these are the things you look for when you actually are fitting the sleeve and the hang of the sleeve i'm happy with and also the back as well so hopefully the back looks great it does look great because i haven't made any adjustments to the back so and i've made this jacket patterns this jacket pattern a number of times so i know that the back fits really well and i'm also fitting myself so it's quite difficult for those of you who actually fit your garments it's hard work <laughs> um, but um, yeah that's it so there is my sample garment made out of twill calico fabric and yeah I'm happy with the results there do check the description for the video 
that I've made of this jacket and it's spot on in my opinion. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the fitting and seeing reasons why you possibly should make a twirl and why sometimes it isn't necessary to do one. So I hope this video was helpful. If you think it was helpful and you have any comments or queries, put those in the comment box below. Do share and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.